look good. <laughs> All right, here you go. Y'all ready? Yeah. Finally. One is that, and again, it's, it's, it's the obverse of the sense of self. This. Oops. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. You your cable. You feel like you're a thinker of thoughts. You feel like you're the author of intentions. You feel like you are a subject. And commensurate with that feeling is. I think what happened was. You pulled your cable. Yeah. You are in a position to do what it is you do, to decide to do, you know, I can decide. <laughs> oh, come on, comic relief here. Let me get this thing back to the beginning. The electronic wonders. Oh, yes. <laughs> the dog is paid. Yeah. Oh. I can lift my left hand or I can decide to lift my right hand and I can deliberate between the two and I can have reasons for one or reasons for the other and um, I'm in the driver's seat. I really am. And then if you, t and, 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 and so that's, that's where everyone's starting. Uh, the problem with that is objectively we know that everything. All right, now we're going from the gate. All right. There on my blog, but the, the basic case against free will is this. It's, it's twofold. One is that and again, it's the, it's, the, it's the obverse of this sense of self. It's, it's the other side of the coin, where you you feel like you're a thinker of thoughts. You feel like you're the, the, the author of intentions. You feel like you are a subject. And co commensurate with that feeling is the sense that you are in a position to do what it is you do, to decide to do, you know, I can decide to lift my left hand or I can decide to lift my right hand and I can deliberate between the two and I can have reasons for one or reasons for the other and um, I'm in the driver's seat. I really am. And then if you, t and, 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 and so that's, that's where everyone's starting. Uh, the problem with that is objectively we know that everything that you're consciously aware of, all your thoughts and your intentions and your impulses and your impulses to, to resist those impulses. I mean, well, however, however you're, whatever's coming up for you, we know that's all preceded by events in your nervous system of which you're not aware and which you didn't create. And the, and the, the state of your brain in this moment, it's in every sense, is the product of variables that you are not responsible for. You didn't pick your parents. You didn't pick your genes. You didn't sculpt your genes. You didn't pick the environment in which your genome was going to be expressed. You didn't pick the way that the, your interaction with the world and other people sculpted the microstructure of your brain so as to give you the brain you have. You didn't pick the number of receptors you have of every type and every synapse. You didn't pick all the charges and, uh, that are currently in place in your brain at this moment. You haven't, you haven't created your neurophysiology, and your neuro neurophysiology is going to give rise to every next thought and intention that shows up for you. And so, so and, and we know that if you do an experiment, like you put someone in a, in a uh, uh, neuroimaging device, whether it's, whether it's EEG or whether it's a fMRI, or, um, and you image their, their neural activity in real time, and you have a very, uh, simple choice between pushing the left button or pushing the right button, we can predict before the person is aware of having committed to right or left, whether they're going to go right or left. And we know... I'll stop right there. Think about what you just said about you can do, you can do physical testing so that you'll know when somebody, if you know how to read a chart, you'll you know what their choice is before they're aware of it. Okay, remember that.
Now I want you to think of two things about that little video we saw. Sam Harris makes uh, two points. One is, you'll notice he said, we know that, we know that. He says that a lot. But what he's saying is, because we assume that we have a brain and not a mind, and that's what materialism assumes, a brain, something that's mass, that's mass and energy going on about things, and, and uh, receiving input from all over the body. And since we know there is no what you call mind, which is immaterial, there's only material processes, since we know that, it has to be the fact that this is what's happening. Now, we talked about the test. They did that test, they had a, people sitting there and they had a button on the right and a button on the left, and they had, a, had them hooked up to some stuff, which I'm not a doctor, so I don't know what that is. I don't know what EEG is, but I don't know what that other one was. Somehow, they sense a decision with the equipment before the person who made the decision is, is, is totally conscious of it. Proves nothing. Because all kinds of things are going on in your brain that you're thinking that you're not conscious of until a particular point. That's a ridiculous, that test does not prove that. Now, anybody wants to study that test that you just talked about and tell me where I'm wrong. It doesn't prove anything. It is, it's wishful thinking on their part that that's what it means because they have a prior assumption that there is no mind, there's only a brain. Okay, that's what I'm saying about Sam Harris. Other than that, he, no, no, he's, no pejoratives here. Okay, wow. Now I've got backwards here. Okay. The Christian worldview argues there are two separate parts of our thinking system. The brain, which is the computer-like material organ that has been designed to carry out the instructions of the mind. And the mind, which is an immaterial and is, an, is the essence of who we are. You are your mind. Everything else is reacting to what your mind is telling you what to do. The mind is the source of thought, emotions, and decisions. The mind is how our Creator endowed us with free will and ability to choose. Our mind is part of how we are made in the image of God. So the Christian view is you have a brain and a mind, but they're different. Brain is the physical entity that does what the mind tells it to do. The mind is immaterial. You cannot, you cannot put, point to where the mind is. It is you and what you are. Christian view, okay? The materialistic worldview argues that the material brain is the organ that carries out all that we think or do. The brain reacts only to material stimuli such as genetics, random effects of our environment has on us, and the interaction of matter and energy controlled by the natural laws and forces of nature. The brain does not allow free will because we have no mechanism to make decisions. Everything is predetermined by the, the material world. That is materialistic thought. That's what uh, Sam Harris believes. Yet he'll sit there and tell you all about all the stuff he knows about. But he's not actually thinking that. It's just happening. You see how ludicrous that is in public space? That somebody's going to teach you something and tell you that what I'm teaching you is not really me thinking it. This is stuff that just happened up there I had no control over. Unbelievable. All right. Anyway, let's go back. <clears throat> 